Like all the boys in my hometown village in North Jersey, I played baseball in the summer. It was just pickup ball, batters and pitchers, and maybe an outfielder or two. Some days we might even field a team of six, maybe even two. But it got us out of the house and burning energy our moms couldn't control had we stayed cooped up at home all day. I think that sandlot in back of the volunteer firehouse is where I learned my shame-pride continuum. To this day, I am my own worst critic. When I fail, and it can be just a momentary hitch step, at whatever I believe I should be able to accomplish, get a hit on the sandlot back then, or a golf shot, dinner recipe, sales pitch today, yada, 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 I often turn on myself with an angry reaction. That's the shame end of my continuum. God damn it, Kim. When I got a hit or made a spectacular catch, I would burst out in the elation. I can still do that. I still do things that sometimes go beyond what I think I should be able to do. And that surprise is absolutely delightful. Wow, did you see that? But here's the thing. I said that I learned these reactions on that ball field. They have been supported off and on throughout my life so that they are still with me today, some 60 years later. They were acceptable, even expected from a 10 year old boy on a sandlot. But what do they actually do for me today? Whooping it up whenever I hit the proverbial home run and cursing myself when I just completely flop actually accomplish the same thing. They meet an immediate emotional need of mine to do what I always do, what I've been trained to do. I believe we all have these knee-jerk comfort zone reactions. I can see the pride response as being socially okay and commonplace to a point but it's really difficult for most of us to watch someone melt down over a fail event. Yet, functionally, they're the same thing. They're a programmed emotional response to an event, whether it's successful or failed. Bragging from my prideful self or self-bashing from my critical side are not pretty pictures. And I don't want to do this. That's not how I want to be seen. To quote Viktor Frankl, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And in that space is our power to choose our response. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. I choose to pair gratitude with the event that heretofore I have responded to with pride. And I now choose to pair learning, and hence gratitude also, with events that heretofore I have responded to with self-flagellation. What responses did you learn in your youth that are still comfortable for you? yet don't really serve you at 40, 50, 60 or older. Hard to change, aren't they? In that choice, though, lies our growth and our freedom. It's a journey. How's yours going? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.